Yeah. All right, let me prove all these people wrong real quick. Come on, pass the ball. Come on, Foy. Don't do me like that now. Come on, Calderon, Calderon. Me and you is cool. We come from the same team. Thank you. All right, let's set this up. Time to grab this 10th assist, man. Please let this work. Come on, man. We got four seconds left. Come on, cut. Oh, Roger Bell from the J See, that's what I'm talking about. Proving the naysayers wrong. I just got a triple-double with a center. I'm not even 99 overall. Let's go. What's going on, everybody? It's Hot Pod King Carter here, the Superman of YouTube. What's going on, Game Face Studios? Are y'all ready? I know y'all read the title. I know y'all ready to get some hints, some tips, and tricks. But let's hear this real quick. Hey, man, I just wanted to sit down and talk for a minute. You know, this losing thing has really been tough for all of us. And uh, I know you have to think long term as well. But if there's any way we could get some immediate help, we could really use it, man. Really. Well, it's tough, you know. To get something, you've got to give something up. So I'll keep working the phones and see what's out there. But in the meantime, just keep at it and always ask yourself, what can you do to make this team better? No doubt. All right, well, uh, thank you. And uh, good talk, man. I'll, I'll see you later. But for right now, I need your focus on this next game against the Hawks. I know you'll be ready. We about to take this thing to the next level, baby. Come on now, let's get fired up. Here we go. All right, everybody, this is what I need you to do. I need you to pause this video after I say these short few words. Go get yourself a pen and a pad. Go get your iPhone and open up the notes. Or go grab an iPad, open up a document, and get the typing. Because I'm here to give you guys tips and tricks on how to get a triple-double. Now, I know a lot of people have different ways on getting a triple-double. Some might just go off and just eventually end up with a triple-double. Some people like myself will try to strategize their triple-double by doing certain things to ensure that the triple-double will come later in the game. Now, in this first half, you're going to see me score, grab rebounds, as any center should do. Now, the reason why I wanted to do this video with a center is because it's a whole lot harder to actually get a triple-double with a center because most centers aren't known for grabbing assists. Now, the reason why I chose to do assists instead of blocks is because it's very hard to get blocks when you're only a 70 overall. To tell you the truth, I don't even think I'm a 70 overall. I think my guy is like a 68, 69, and I just upped certain attributes in order to stand up, dunk, uh, beast when I'm backing people down, shoot a couple fadeaways, but let's get back to the tips and tricks. So I hope you guys got your pen and pad because this is how we're going to do it. Now, the first thing you want to do is, as a center, you want to grab rebounds. You want to box out. If there is anything else that you need to do in this game, you want to rebound. Now, this goes for any position. Now, I know a lot of point guards, shooting guards, and some small forwards love to get out on a break. I know you love to run down the court to get those amazing dunks, get those awesome looks, those, those beautiful replays. But listen... Every few seconds or possessions or whatever, what I want you to do is go in, box out, and try to grab a rebound. Because remember, you only have to get 10 of them. Think about how many possessions are in an actual basketball game of 2K. It won't take you long to get rebounds. Rebounds aren't the problem. It's coming with scoring and getting assists. Now, as a center, you would think scoring is very easy because as soon as you get the ball, you're very dominant in the paint. But that's not the case. What you want to do is when you're a center, you want to go in, try to get a couple uh, pick and roll plays. You want to try to get a couple plays where you're in the paint for the post and you want to make light of everything you do. Now, I know you guys are looking at the gameplay and you're seeing me go to the paint off of pick and rolls. Now, on this play, you see me going in the post. Check out the nice little move right there and the nice little shimmy shot with the turnaround fade. That's what you got to do to score. With a center, it's a whole lot harder than, say, a small forward down to a point guard. Because at any given time with a small forward shooting guard or point guard, you can definitely pull up for the three-pointer and knock it down maybe 80% of the time in 2K. Maybe even 100. A lot of people knock down a lot of shots. I'm not saying that nobody is Taylor out here, but <laughs> you know what I'm saying? they knock down their shots. Now, 
Before I get into um, assists in the second half, what I do want to say is, for all the point guards, small forwards, shooting guards, power forwards, and centers that play 2K, the first thing you want to work on is scoring and rebounding in the first half. I'm, I'm, I'm not lying to you. You want to score and you want to rebound. And this is why. When you score, guess what happens in the second half? The computer adjusts and starts to double team you. And that's when doors open up. But let's get into halftime. I'm going to explain more later. Now, presented by Sprint. Good to have you here. This is 2K Sports, and the NBA season is starting to take shape. Utah with the lead against Atlanta. They're looking for a way to break out of this losing streak. It's now reached seven games. And Mr. Incredible having no problems scoring against the Hawks. He's already racked up 22 points, and with plenty of the game left, he's already secured a double-double. And hanging tough, the Atlanta Hawks. Hard to find a lot to like about their performance so far. They'll need to pay much better attention in the second half to the details. The details. Not a great game for Luis Williams so far. It hasn't been pretty. He's only got one make from the field. And that'll do it for us here in the studio. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of the game. The second half just about to get going here. And Mr. Incredible. All right, y'all. It's time to talk about getting assists. Now, getting assists isn't that hard when you're a point guard, shooting guard, or small forward. But when you're a center, it's hella hard. Now, this is why. At the center position, you really don't have that many options. You can't go inside the paint, call for the ball, do a turnaround jumper, and draw in the defense if you're not a 99 overall. But when you're a center and you're at the top of the key, this is when your op options open up. Because just like a point guard, they have the power forward or the center to call pick and roll with. With a center, you have the power forward and the small forward to call a pick and roll with. Now, my objective this whole entire second half was to get assists. It wasn't really about scoring because right here, when you get the assists, all you have to do is that. You don't have to score. You don't have to rebound because guess what? You're already in double digits in those categories. The only thing on your mind that needs to happen is getting assists. Now, getting assists with the power forwards and small forwards may seem hard because your passing isn't 100%. But I'm going to explain a little bit more. I just want to show you guys this quick endorsement and then I'm going to get back to it. Let's go. Come to where the action is. See your jazz up close and personal. Mr. Incredible is ready to give his best, so get your tickets now. Remember, you are the home court advantage. And thanks again for joining us. Let's see what happens here in the fourth. And now our sideline reporter, Doris Burke, has a report on our Sprite uncontainable game. Hi, Doris. And Kevin, for that great stretch the Jazz put together, they get the Uncontainable Game Award. As the game has worn on, they have stepped up their intensity defensively, their best quarter being the third. That's the difference right now as they look to finish this game off. Okay, Doris, thanks. That scoring run, guys. All right, I have told you guys on how to get a triple-double with a center, and I'm going to give you a little bit of more insight with any other position. Now, I'm going to give you guys my little trick that I pull off and able to win on Hall of Fame difficulty. Now, when you're playing on Hall of Fame difficulty, it's very hard to get your teammates involved because it seems like you got to do all the scoring. But that's not the, the actual gist of it. Now, what I'm going to tell you guys is, starting out in the game, if you're a point guard, what I want you guys to do is go to the rack or shoot open jump shots for the first four possessions of the game. If you make all four of those shots in key times and make them and then come down on your fifth possession, this is what I want you to do. I want you to clear it out. I want you to go up to that opposing point guard. I want you to try to break him down defensively by dribbling in front of him. Now, if he tries to reach for the ball and all of that, try to mix up your moves so you don't get stripped. But this is what's going to happen. The small forward or the shooting guard that's on the wings that's guarding those guys for the three-pointers are going to slide over to help out that point guard that's been getting torched for the last four possessions. Now, this is in any game. It will happen every single time. So as soon as that person slides over, this is what you do. You either send a bounce pass over to the your teammate that's wide open or you send over a over the head pass to your teammate that's open. And guess what he's going to do? He's going to shoot the pill for the three. He's going to make it 100% of the time because guess what? He's wide open. Now, 
This is what's going to happen when that gets beat. The person that's guarding the power forward in the center um, inside the post, guess what they're going to do? They're going to slide and rotate against the person that's been shooting all those threes when that person comes over to help the point guard that you're torching. Now, guess what you do? You pass it to the center or the power forward that's in the paint cutting because their man is off of them now and that's the way you get a triple double that's the way you score efficiently and that's how you keep up with teams on hall of fame trust me it confuses the ai and you come out with the win this is ikc signing out thanks for listening a hey, kill confirmed thanks for this beat man Let me be the first person to congratulate you on your spectacular performance tonight. I don't know if you saw the final stat line, but you ended up with a triple double, the first one of your career. Can we expect more performances like this from you? The question isn't can we expect more, it's how soon until the next game like this one. The answer is, I feel like a triple double threat every time I step on the court, feel me? I feel like when my teammates are on their game, I'm on my game and great things happen. Simple as that.